Hello everyone, welcome back to the Scrapbooking 365 Day of Weather Project in 2022. This is a video collaboration with my very good friend Janice. Alright, so for my project, I decided that this time around I'm going to use pattern papers and I'm going to go through them quickly with you. And the reason for that here, you can see that I printed out the sketch and the sketch was created by Janice. And um, I kind of started labeling all of my strips that I'm going to use for this month. And there was a lot of shortbread and I thought it would kind of get a little bit bland. So I thought, okay, I'll go through my stash. These are just scrap pieces. So this one here is going to be toffee on the light side and then toffee on the dark side. For the shortbread strips, I'm going to bring in this pattern paper here from the Mix-In collection. And I'm going to use this for the light side of shortbread and then the cardstock for the dark side. And because I don't have a lot of Sundance, I'm going to bring in this really pretty paper. This is from the Hope and Kindness collection, so I thought that that was nice. So you can see here that I've got interests with my colors and then I'm going to bring in a little bit of unexpected for the nectarine color. This is from the Boo Crew. It's a Halloween paper and I think that if I just cut into this strip right here it's going to look really really good. So those are the papers and this is the direction that I am going in for this layout. Now Jan has created custom pieces here. So these are what she calls word art. I'm trying to stick to the stamp set, the months of the year, but she's making it really hard not to use the Cricut file. The Cricut file has both the Canadian weather and the Australian weather. So you're going to want to grab that. And as you can see here, I have tons of photos to document. I will bring in some flip flaps because I have too many pictures to put on this layout. So I'm going to clear off my desk. I'm going to go ahead and cut all of my strips and we're going to start the assembly. But first, I have a special announcement that I would like to share with you. The creative design team is getting ready for our annual 31 days of Christmas cards. If you missed our event last year, these are all the beautiful cards we created together. I will link in the description of the video right here our early bird pricing. You're going to want to jump on this. It is a fabulous event and you're going to get a jump start on your Christmas cards. I've done quite a bit of the assembly work at this point and I thought that I'd bring in my Versamat here because I'm going to show you how easy it is when you use your Versamat uh, to line up your strips back here. I've done a few changes. So I did back this really nice zip strip with some toffee paper because it represented that 31 days. And then um, I think I'm going to change the backing on my shaker element. I, I really like the way that it stands out on the page and it just really reminds me of summer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a top layer on this and then I'm just going to put little beads. Not big beads because I don't have a lot of room but I think it's going to be a cute element on this page. So I will go ahead and put that together and I wanted to show you, remember at the beginning I had brought in the Halloween paper and I wasn't feeling it on this page. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm just going to bring in nectarine and I am going to create my very own pattern paper. Let me bring this up for you to see. I'm just going to lift my entire mat. Do you see that? They're like little sunflowers. So I went through my months of the year because I did purchase all of them. So I go through a lot of them to see what kind of images you have because there's tons of gorgeous images. And I came across this one right here. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to stamp on this very plain nectarine. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that on there just to give it more interest. And I 
kind of feel that it matches more the vibe of this layout. And I'm also going to assemble my little shaker. So I'm going to speed up a little bit of this process and I'll show you how to line up your strips, how to stamp to create your own, and how to complete this shaker element. I'm going to go through a few elements with you here. So for this piece here, it is a nectarine. I'm going to use the light side. And uh, I did audition a few ink colors and I found that the Sundance showed up really, really nicely against the nectarine. What I'm doing here is I'm just grabbing that small flower, that sunflower, and I'm rotating it from left to right and I'm working my way all the way down the strip and I think that it looks really really good. It really went with the style of the layout this month. So let's talk about those strips because you do want to get them on nice and straight and I found that by using my Versamat it was really easy because I can use a T-ruler and I'm just separating them out here. I'm actually looking for the center strip and this is the one right here and you should have seven and seven and the middle one is 15. So we want to start with the center one. I'm going to bring in my little Friskar trimmer here and I'm going to trim those lengths uh, just randomly at various lengths and I just go ahead and add a little bit more of shortbread ink because that's the ink that I use for all of them. And here is my T-ruler. I'm measuring off my Versamat. I want to make sure that that is nice and straight. And if that strip is straight, everything else truly falls into place. So as I mentioned, I'm using my little Frisco trimmer. I'm cutting them at whatever length that I think they need, need to be cut at. And I just build my base page. Each of these strips represent the weather that day and it's associated to a color and if you're just catching up to this project there will be a complete playlist at the end for you to binge watch all of the videos that we have so far. I'm going to add a little bit of shortbread ink here to the base page and the base pages here are done in French vanilla. I just found that white was a little bit too bright and uh, it didn't really go with the colors that I have to play with this month. So I'm going to add that really quickly here and we're going to move right along with the assembly of these two pages. So I've brought in my second Versamat and I am going to line up all of my pieces and uh, this really nice word art that Jan has created for us, I decided to turn it into a shaker. The creative design team and I spent the whole week last week creating really cool projects using shaker elements and I guess it must have bled into this project because I thought why not it's a fun element and it's summer and summer is so short here that I wanted to do something unexpected. I'm using very small beads because I don't have a lot of room between the words and I'm just kind of positioning them with my little pokey tool right here and then I am going to add a little bit of liquid glass and just secure that top and trap all of those little beads inside. I like to use the liquid glass here because it gives me you know just enough time to align that word and then I'm just going to add a block on it and let that dry. So when I start building my pages, I'm always looking for that piece that is kind of like the grounding piece. And for me, it was definitely that word art right here on the right hand side. So I needed to make sure that that was anchored at the right spot. So then I could move my photo mats exactly where I want them. I did stamp the word August using the months of the year and I did move that over to the left and to the top of that bracket just to have enough room to add my beautiful sunflower. And when it comes to journaling, I like to add the journaling at the back of the photos and I do use thin 3D foam tape and I create myself a small pocket. So I'm gonna slide that right in here and then I'm going to look at the front and I'm going to line that up 
is I don't want the pull tab to go down too low and then I just use my 3D foam tape again here and it creates kind of like a little stopper for that journaling spot. I'm just going to snip that and then when you slide that back and forth or up and down I should say it's not going to get lost in back of the photo. And we're pretty much done here. I've added those great flowers that were in my stash, believe it or not. And uh, I really, really like the color combination that I got to play with this year. I love that shaker element. I love my little journaling right here. I'll probably add more journaling in back of other photos, but that little shaker element on this page is so much fun and it really completes um, our month of August. One last thing before I go, I wanted to walk you through how to add your flip flaps to your pages. So you're going to sneak your 12 by 12 into your page protector. You're just going to slide that into place to make sure that it's all the way down at the bottom of the page. And then you're going to grab your flip flap. I added two photos here. So one goes up and one goes down because when you do the flip, you want to make sure it's on the right side and then you fold over this flap just like you would an envelope. The next thing I like to do is grab a baby wipe or something wet and uh, this little white strip here is really really staticky. I've sometimes I can't get it off my fingers and uh, I just get stuck with it but if I take a baby wipe and I wipe it off it just comes off and it's great. I'm not stuck with it. <laughs> just a little tip, you know. So here I am tapping down my photo in my flip flap. I'm making sure that my base page is all the way down. I'm going to fold on that little flap. It's self adhesive. And I'm just going to press that in. I'm just going to press that in with my finger and that's about it. They are super easy to add to your 12 by 12 and you can definitely add tons of photos. I'm going to leave you here with a few close-ups of that great sunflower and the awesome shaker element on this page. And if you want to get a jump start on your Christmas cards, check out the information down in the description below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Now head on over to Janice's channel and see what she did with her Australian weather. I'll catch you next month.